the Floyd Country Store is a sort of a cultural center for this community. It became a place where musicians and friends that hadn't seen each other in a long time ran into each other and met and had conversation. And a lot of that conversation has been musical conversation. Yeah. Over 30 years, it's become an event. The Friday Night Jamboree at the Floyd Country Store, which has attracted people from all over the country and internationally. So much more accessible, it brings everyone together. I go out on a Friday night and the streets are full of musicians mingling and playing. There's so many groups that are playing on Fridays that you can just wander around and settle on something that seems to be drawing your attention and your interest. To uh, lead us in some wonderful gospel music tonight, we have the Reese family and friends. Just give them a nice hand. We usually begin with an hour of gospel music. This is music which is intended to lift the spirit. By 7.30, we're starting into our first dance set. The first chord that gets played, they're out on the dance floor. I, I like the synergy that happens between the dancers and the music and the whole experience. not about performing as much as just playing for the folks that are around and if you can get some folks wanting to dance to it, that's where it's at for me. I'd rather play for people that are doing something active than just sitting there looking at me. They have a children's dance where only the children are allowed on the dance floor. When it's over, they all throw change all for the kids and then they all go over to the barrels of candy and buy candy with all the change that they've scraped up off the floor. We're now open for lunch, for shopping six days a week. We have soups and salads, barbecues and hot dogs. One man especially, he always likes me to make his hot dogs and he'll beat on the end of the counter and holler for me. He's been doing that for several years. He's great. <laughs> People who worked hard on the land got together in barn lofts, old fire stations, and on people's front porches. It's been a place in a way which is kind of a living museum of this community and represents in many ways the, the essence of Floyd County.